Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough after being cursed with the cursiest curse of all time. We have now access to a bunch of other stuff because we can now transform into a boat. And to start off with, I'm going to take this path through here. You probably noticed that there was a little hole that led through here. Which indicates that there's something behind the waterfall. Oh, yes. Let's open the chest and find out what it is. It's a defense plus partner badge, which boosts your defense power by one. Oh, your partner's defense power by one. I don't know why I kind of messed that one up. But <laughs> I mean, it was right up on screen. I could have just read it now, oh, whatever. So anyway, going back through here, if you decide to take the boat panel back here and look around, you're going to find just a lot of dead ends. You're not going to get anywhere up there. So you have a couple of choices from here. You can either go down the waterfall, down the waterfall, or down the waterfall. I think I'm going to choose to go down the waterfall. <laughs> so yeah, this leads back over to this room. This is all a uh, dead end over to this spot here. But remember this gate over here for a little bit later. Uh, because we're going to be going through there very, very shortly, actually. Anyway, just take this route right through here, uh, right through here, until you reach another boat panel. And, uh, oh, by the way, these bottles, you can go right through them. They look a lot more solid than they actually are. <laughs> anyway, at the end of this, the answers to all of life's mysteries will be revealed. <laughs> Well, maybe not all of them, but you will be able to get this gate handle, which can you can use to open the floodgates. So, you're going to get... You know what? I'm going to take care of you. You know what? Be, you know why? Because I noticed my experience points are relatively high. <laughs> I think if I do a battle versus these bozos, I'll get a level up out of that, and I think that'll be beneficial for a little bit later. Here, have a bomb. Oh yeah, that was indeed stylish. Oh, that was not stylish. <laughs> oh, I thought that was gonna hit Mario, but I still got the uh, action command anyway. Yeah, that worked out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, level up definitely coming here. One HP left. What a rip off. <laughs> Nah, I knew that was going to happen based on the damage output I was doing. I, of course, could, you know, wipe them out with a uh, Earth Tremor or something like that, but mm, I don't feel like it. <laughs> 20 experience points for that. Yep, I'm definitely pretty underleveled. <laughs> Level up! I think I'm going to go for my HP this time because I'm closing in on a boss, and this boss can be pretty tricky, so yep. Just gotta make sure I have a little security blanket of sorts. And anyway, gotta get out the Yoshter for this once again. Ah, safe. Oh, wait. Why did I get off my steed? I know this is a straight way all the way through here. It's not like I have to make any jumps along the way here. Eh, well, at least until I get to this spot right here. And all right, let's insert that gate handle. List goes up, current goes through, bottle and barrel gets flushed out. Uh, spooky voice happens. Whoa, that freaky voice is making noises again. The ghosts must be nearby. They're not gonna scare me away anymore. I refuse to be controlled by some ancient spirit. That I don't even know. That could just be playing tricks on me. I could just be dehydrated. I'm hearing things. That's always a possibility as well. So I'm going to press on. And go down this waterfall again. Because that was a good idea the first time. <laughs> so yeah, now we can go through this gate. And see a whole new section coming up here. Uh, follow this to the right here. Because there's another hole. And all oh, this, all oh, this segment right here. This is really annoying. Watch this. If you ever get hit by these waves, you get shot all the way back to the start. So you've got to navigate through this without taking a hit. And 
If you know how the boat controls, you know that the boat has some odd drift to it. So this can be kind of tricky, especially when you get to the end and the random randomized waves pop up out of, out of nowhere and they can make you capsize. Oh, geez, kind of like that, but it didn't happen. <laughs> I got lucky there. I had a pretty good run through that. By the way, those waves look really cool, by the way. You know, the full, I mean, the rolling paper waves, just I would point out my opinion on those bad boys. Hey, something coming. There, floating on the water. Where am I? What? what? Let me see. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I can't, I can't breathe, guys. <laughs> is, that a, is that a boat? Hey, over here. Save us, please. Okay, I will. But do they really think that they would be able to all fit on this teeny, tiny boat here? I mean, they've seen the boat coming and... What is that? Well, I was pointing this. Are you kidding me? Oh, that's made off paper. I still can't breathe here. Huge bummer. And then they kind of repeat themselves. <laughs> So anyway, uh, if you go all the way over to this end, you're going to come across a dead end. So you must solve the puzzle of the room, which isn't really all that much of a puzzle in all honesty. <laughs> it's more like a platforming uh, segment of sorts. So here we are. Don't rock the boats. Don't rock the boat, baby. Uh, right now. See those pipes in front? Not the ones in the back, the ones like closest to the screen. You want to aim for those pipes. You actually got to go in both of those. Oh, whoa, almost fell off the edge. <laughs> got to go in both of those pipes via this. Just press the B button to get out of paper mode. You'll see that pipe leads to the switch in the background. Hit the switch. It releases barrels under the water, which float to the surface, which causes the plat... Uh, barrel platforms to float to the surface and thus the toads will be able to escape but there's still not a way out just yet so let's go over to the other pipe oh yeah and you're free free well eventually <laughs> hey I can cross over now Hey, hey, what am I waiting for? Let's go! And thus they go. <laughs> There's a lot of toads piled up on that little tiny bit of wreckage there. <laughs> They've also clearly been there for a while. This must be all the lost toads that have been... Oh, what are they doing there? I guess we'll find out soon enough. <laughs> so now what we gotta do here is... Take the... Well, actually, we don't have to fly all the way over there. But uh, we just need to get to a place that we can do the jumps ourselves. Woo! Good enough. All right, let's go across, and here we are. I don't know how you did it, but you saved us. Well, I came here looking for that pirate treasure, and well, our ship got surrounded by ghosts out on the ocean. And we all end up here. Same thing to us. Hey, aren't you Mario? It's me! Me! Don Pianta's daughter, Francesca! And Frankie's here too! After my dad forgave us, we set out on a trip. The ship we were on got a little too close to this island, and now look at us! Still, I'm amazed the rumors about Cortez were all tree. Tree. True, which means he's nearby! Hey, uh, so by the way, why are you here? Don't tell me Dad had you come here to take us back! No, 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 we're here for something else. What? You're after the pirate's treasure because it might contain a crystal star? Well, I think the treasure is right in there, watched by Cortez's spirit. Yeah, I'm sure you'll be able to take care of him, though. You look tough. Besides, Cortez is the one that trapped us on that raft, so smack him one for me. Let's chat a bit before we move on here. Frankie and I are just so in love. Anytime, anywhere, no matter how dank. Hey, Puddin' Pie, cool it, would you? Well, I mean, come on, babe, everyone's watching. <laughs> There's something up for me. You out here. How? But wouldn't you have to turn to a boat or an airplane to do all that? Well, yeah, it was because of this this lovely curse and another curse over... Oh, forget it. You won't believe me. <laughs> Getting out of here is treasure enough for us. But how do we get out? Well, you go on and fight Cortez and we'll think about a way out. How about that? Alrighty. So there's a bunch of toads you can walk through. None of them in this crowd here you can talk to, but as you can see, you can actually push them aside just a little bit. How will we ever get back to the surface? It smells so weird down here. <laughs> anyway, let's go through here. 
And see oh. <laughs> oh. Whoa, did I surprise you? Yeah, sorry about that. See, I actually followed you in here, but I got lost along the way and uh Well anyway, I followed this path and I finally caught up with you and then Listen, just forget it, okay? I'm sure the Crystal Star is inside that pirate ship. And the Pirate King Cortez is in there, too. I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, probably. So, no big deal, right? You can take him, big guy. We're counting on you. Boy, I know I sure am. And so is Grotus. Wait, what? What? What do you... What? Who are you talking about? Whoa, so, uh, sorry, what did I say? Forget it, I'll just wait here so I don't get in the way. Okay, I'll, I'll believe you. So, here we are. Save block... Oh, I'm at full health, don't even need that. I was gonna say save block, health block, which I'll use to recover. Which I don't need, actually. I'm gonna just save my game. And end off the part here. Oh, yes! Feel the suspense! <laughs> but I do hope you enjoyed the part anyway. <laughs> I also hope you go to the next part. Do